Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how uh, customizers are created for Thingiverse. So I'm going to jump over to the web browser for a quick second. So here is an example of a customizer. So I, 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 I was looking for to create some feet for a project and I couldn't really find anything on Thingiverse. It's kind of like the first place we all go, right, for, for STLs. So I decided to whip something up in SCAD and then I decided, hey, what the heck, this would be a great example to create uh, a customizer because as I need a different type feet for different type projects, I could just jump over to customizer and, and whip them up. So let's jump back to S Open SCAD for a minute. So I'm using Open SCAD and that's that's how customizer are, are really built is util, utilizing uh, Open SCAD. So here's the basic program. So it's pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to walk through all the details. However, over here, what I'm doing is I'm creating a cylinder, and in the commands of Open SCAD, I can create two different dimensions, and then I'm creating a difference, this offset, and then a hole for a bolt. Now I can do some pretty interesting things with this because I can I can sit here and I can go up here, and so right now I have it as a circle. But say I want it as a square, so I can just change this to a four, recalculate it, and I have a square. Or maybe I want a triangle shaped foot. Boom, triangle shaped foot. If I want um, you know, an octagon shaped foot, I can have an octagon shaped foot. And then again, I can I can change the taper, the thickness in, in all these. So the real key to how this works in, in the customizer are these variables. So these are called parameters or it's called being made parametric. So uh, all these parameters cascade down into the program. And then the comments that you see here are the ranges and these are the notes so let, let's take for example um, you know height of foot millimeters height equals 14 range is 5 millimeters step by 1 200 so let's let's hop over and take a look at that in in the thing so here you go uh, and you can see how it's picked it up from the program height of foot millimeters uh, 14 and then again this sets the slider because of the way that we've configured it and so if we have our example here, let's go back and our sides are 60, which is a standard rough circle in, in Open SCAD. However, let's let's jump back to make a 12 sided. So as you see, we have a 12 sided. Let's do nine sided. And we can go down to four sided. So you see we have a square. And then let's say we want our center hole to be bigger. So we can simply change this. And as you can see, we can change the size of the center hole. Um, you know, maybe we need to make it taller, we can make it taller, and then, you know, we can, you know, scooch this all around so we can see different dimensions of it as, as we could in, in Open SCAD. So, this is a pretty simple, uh, actual project. So, if you're familiar with Open SCAD, it doesn't take too much to really create an Open SCAD, or, I mean, um, uh, a Thingiverse customizer. So uh, again, I put some notes up here about you know standard, you, you know range, you know to set a slider, to set a, set a drop down box. I tend to like sliders because this gives more programmatic control over what the user can enter. And again, working with OpenSCAD is pretty simple and straightforward. So not very hard at all. And long story short, all you simply do is when you go into uh, Open SCAD. So if we go back here, uh, we just edit the thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you just simply upload. You can see the object here. This is the Open SCAD code, and you just click this down here where it says this is a customizer. And then typically what I like to do is put some comments and notes and, and that kind of stuff in here as to how it works and, and that. So um, that's all there is to it. It's very simple, very simple to do. And then we're just going to save this and we're going to go back. <coughs> and then we can reconfigure this to, um, you know, however we want. So again, very simple. So if you're familiar with, with Open SCAD, very easy to create customizer objects. So now that we've kind of shared how 
the code works, you know, how the concept that you can do this in OpenSCAD and that this is all OpenSCAD code, and, you know, how you create the Thingiverse uh, customizer from Thingiverse. Let's jump over back to the real world and print a couple of these guys out and see what it looks like on the one house. So let's go over there. Okay, welcome back. So we took a look at this in SCAD, OpenSCAD. So these are some of the feet we just printed out from the customizer. Um, so again, you see the tapered base. Um, now I printed this with a brim. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. It was just the prior one and I was in a hurry. So you don't need a brim. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can kind of see the recess and the screw hole. So this all came out pretty good. So you can create your own shapes, your own offsets, configurations, etc. using this... Um, using the Thingiverse configurator. So, uh, again, hopefully you found this interesting. If, if you did, you like this. And again, I couldn't find anything really to create various feet for different projects. This, these feet are going to be used. I'm going to print a bunch of them for another project, which I'll show you in a future video series. Uh, and, and that's why I whipped this up, is I looked for something to create feet. I couldn't find it to create custom feet. So, hey, why not create it? So, hopefully this will come in handy. I noticed a number of people using it on Thingiverse. So, Hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumb, big thumbs up. Um, questions, hit me in the comments below. And uh, hey, subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this coming out. Don't forget, I'm starting an OpenSCAD um, channel. Uh, I probably have a link below by the time this comes out. So you can, if you're if you're an OpenSCAD fan like myself, you can follow it up uh, with me over there. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.